Hello, welcome to Footprint. My name is Samuel Atamensa. We are going to have a rather sporty episode of the Footprint. But just check out the guest for today and we'll be right back. Born some 81 years ago at Suhum and hails from Amanokum Ekuyapem in the eastern region of Ghana, Ken Bediakon is a product of Ebuakwa State College at Chebi. At age 20, Ken Bediako ventured into the field of journalism as a trainee sports writer with the Daily Graphic. Ken Bediako rose through the ranks to become sports editor in 1972 and traveled worldwide to cover various international assignments including four Olympic Games. Our guest, veteran sports writer Ken Bediako, tells his story on Footprints Now. Thank you for joining us. This is Footprints and welcome back to the program. Now, you know who we are talking about, Mr. Ken Bediakon. We call him Uncle Ken. Now, he has so many um, books to his credit, um, books that would keep the stories of Ghana sports with particular reference to football um, together. Um, I have one book here which the complete history of Ghana Football League and the reference era is 1958 to 2012. So this will be um, the, the period of uh, Matra Makwe when we're trying to see whether we can also play the formation of the league, uh, amateur league, transcending the amateur into the professional league and he captures everything in this book. Now he is not a research paper this is a book that captures what he has witnessed in on many occasions he was a writer and um a journalist um worth a sort uncle ken it's good to see you i am very happy to see you we we have spoken on the phone we you know uh, because of jojo so yeah. we we but we are happy to be in your home okay um, we are most welcome. So what do you do now these days? <laughs> uh, these days I'm on retirement. Yes. That's watching. So you are, you are retirement for the second and third time. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally. Finally. But mm -hmm. well, I've been writing uh, a column for a friend of mine. Uh, oh, okay. Custodian. Uh, oh, right. Uh, on, on sports? Well, on sports and football. Yeah, uh, yeah. Occasionally. Yeah. But. So tell me, so can be the account, where are you? You are an account, right? Yes. Uh, from... From Amanokrum. Oh, so you're camping. My father comes from Amanokrum and my mother from Mampong. Oh, so yeah. full of camping. Full of camping. So I come from the middle. <laughs> I, I put a in the middle. So. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> so and um, so how was schooling like growing up? Fine. My father was a head teacher. Mm -hmm. So we were moving from town to town. In the same general area or no, no, no. regions, well, across regions? Across regions. In fact, we started from Amanoko mm -hmm. uh, 1946. We went to uh, Agogo. Asante Agogo. Asante Agogo. Asante Agogo mm -hmm. for three years. From there, we came to Mpraiso. Kwao Mpraiso? Yeah. Wow. Kwao Mpraiso. From Kwaum, perhaps we went to Akwesimu also. Akwesimu. Akwesimu. That's about 10 miles from Yeah, no, Nkoko area. Then from Akwesimu to Achim Oda. Oda? Oda. But yeah. those days, Oda was a big, yeah, was a big mean, place yeah, to be. Yes, uh, that was the last, um, the last mm -hmm. post. He went to okay. retirement. Retirement, okay. 1960. Mm. Yeah. And um, so when did you. Incidentally, that, that was when I. You also I, started your. Yeah, no, I, no, I completed my. Second School. education at uh, Boca State College. Then. Oh, okay. So you are, while you were in Oda, you were traveling to to, to Chebi. Yes. Um, so you go through a summer or where? You go uh, through, uh, I went to Swedru at that time. That's um, um, Aguna Swedru. Aguna Swedru. And then, uh, then to, you have to go through a summer. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, and that's then across. I, I, I yes, of uh, course. In some of them. And then you you use that route and. You are there. You are there. <laughs> to dread my stay very much. Did you take part in any sports when you were in school? Yes. Mm -hmm. I was playing hockey, mm -hmm. uh, table tennis. Mm -hmm. For I played uh, hockey and table tennis for school. For, for school. Wow. But uh, as for cricket and others, uh, no. yeah, they were too, uh, too fast for you. Good. So, that, which year would this be? 
That was the, 19... the, the years in secondary school. Secondary no, school from, from 1956 to 1960. 56 to 60, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, within this period, were you aware of um, the direction of Ghana politics at the time? Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, you remember you know, anything? Yeah, Chebi is a, I would say a hot spot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially in 1958, mm -hmm. we were in school when we had noises. We'll go back and say ugly noises. Ugly noises, noises. yeah. Then uh, we were told that uh, the police had come to remove the mm -hmm. What's that? They came, those vans. Uh, As in, unseat him? Unseat him. Wow. Because. We had read, and then Osajifu had said that the chiefs would run away and leave their sandals behind. So, to unseat him, I understand he was uh, challenging uh, Kwame Nkrumah. So, hmm? so, when they, they came in, what is called a go inside. Yeah, go inside. Yeah, the, 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 that KG. Yeah. So, they, they took him away. Mm -hmm. And they banned him for uh, 60 uh, kilometers you know, from, from Chibi. Chibi. Yeah. Wow. So, so he, he was in Accra. Uh, spent time with his brother, J.B. Dankwa. Wow. But I got to know this because yeah. I, I had yeah, finished and I was yeah. cry. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. So students, you didn't protest? No. You couldn't it was, have... it was in town. We just had it. Oh. <laughs> wow. So after school, what did you do? After school, um, that is in January 61, I was a clerical officer mm -hmm. at the Latin City Corporation. Oh, wow. Uh, and then, in school, I had planned to be a journalist. Journalist, yeah. okay. Because school, we had a school um, uh, newsletter, the Abuskodian. Actually, we mm -hmm. took over from our seniors, the late Dabacho mm Farada. -hmm. They were seniors, so we were doing it. Yeah. And I had a column, um, these foolish things. Uh -huh. uh, so the, the, the whole writing thing has been with you oh, since yes, you were in is, school. Uh, right? uh, so... Oh, oh. so um, at which point did you finally get into uh, journalism? Yes, I was uh, at the electricity corporation office, and fortunately, a classmate of mine, Eugene Thompson, had got appointment at the graphic sports desk. And then he gave me information that uh, the graphic were looking for writers, yeah, uh, young, no, for young writers, okay, because. At that time, they, they had no you know, do was the, uh, the boss there. Mm -hmm. Then he had left to join Ghanaian Times. Mm -hmm. And then Wallace Johnson, mm -hmm. too, had left, leaving Sambo and him. Mm -hmm. And Sambo and him, too, had left. So there was a. Were all. So they did the Kubadu. Were they all sports writers? Yes, Kubadu is the greatest yeah. sports writer. Yeah, I mean, I know the name Kofi Bedu yeah, um, connected to graphic. Yeah. Did he, he was the, the same person who became the managing yes. director? Okay, yeah. The same so, person. In fact, yeah. he started the football revolution with uh, mm -hmm. in the elite when we were in school. Wow. Yeah. He's, mm -hmm. a, he's a great uh, sports writer and oh. a great politician now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, as I was saying, um, I had information that the graphic were looking for young people to train, you know, because uh, when the elders became popular, they left. Yeah. So, I was lucky. Mm -hmm. I got information, I went there. Then the sports editor asked me, are you interested in sports? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure, you do understand sports? I said, I do. Have you been following sports? Oh, yes. At that time, we had this National Day, Founders Day games in September, in Inon or Osajifu. You know, mm -hmm. you know, this National Day games. So I had gone there uh, to watch. I was interested in sports. I was going to the stadium and everything. I said, okay, uh, you know what you do? Write a review of, uh, of the games. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they give me pen and paper. I sat down, wrote, wrote it. Wrote, wrote it. You know, said, you, you go. The following day, it was in the papers. Wow. They called me, they said, to come. So I went to see the editor. The said, young man. Who was the editor at the time? Uh, Mr. Isaac Ashan. He Ashan. died recently. Yeah. Young man, I think you've got a job. You have the potential. But uh, if you don't do well, you'll show me the exit. <laughs> so we will take a seat. Good. I had then left the it, office. Of course. Um, 
And just briefly, we, we had the, the office was made up of uh, uh, first school leaders. Yeah. So, in fact, our boss, we, we, we called him Mobutu. Okay. Certain people are not serious because on Mondays we come, they'll be discussing the films we watch, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at that time, going, yeah. going to the cinema to the was cinema. a big so deal. We were, there's a man in war. We were actually uh, young men. And, yeah, yeah. So the man said, You people are in the wrong profession. Accounts clerk, you've got to find something better to do. So I told them that I've got an appointment in the office. But I, I told uh, Mobutu that I, had, I, was, I asked permission to go and do something for him. But as it is, it's not like I can come back. So I called the office. I said, Mobutu is very, very upset. much annoyed. Yeah. And you are not coming. I said, I'm not coming. So that's it. So I got the That's job. how you got there. Got now tell me, you know, um, the younger generation mm -hmm. would every now and then hear references to Ohinijan. Yeah. What do you know about Ohinijan and, and, and his contribution to Ghana football? Ohinijan is the greatest sports administrator a nation has had. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, he was very powerful. And then I will give this credit to Nkrumah. You know, he, he knew how to pick the right people. Mm -hmm. And gave them so much power. Like when he, when he had so much power, he could do anything. Mm. He and used it positively. Oh, uh, positively, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so who was he? So I mean, from there, where? What, what? Well, when he was a, a former school teacher. Mm -hmm. Ten cocoa broker, mm -hmm. you know, and then he was a football follower. You know, he 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 he, he comes from Abuja, but he lived at uh, in Sam. Okay. And then he was, he loved sports. Right. So in fact, he loved sports. So he was in the forefront of uh, this sports organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of... Uh, so uh, within the whole period that Ohini Jan was Ohini Jan, he lived yeah. in Sam. Yes, he lived in Sam. Wow. Yeah, that's where he has his house. <laughs> yes. and, and that's where he launched, and he gave the name the Black Stars. Oh, I see. Yeah, 1960. Right. He gave the... the, 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 the I mean, so the, he was the administrator, like the GFA boss? Yeah, kind he of. was the executive mm -hmm. secretary. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was that um, Nkrumah gave him all the powers mm. to do whatever he liked, to make what he said... Uh, Sports or soccer, the showpiece of Africa. Mm -hmm. And Rahim was always boasting that uh, he had an executive instrument. It was in his feet, it was in his safe. He was not going to show it to anybody. Because, um, you know, uh, Rahim Jan was so much, uh, I would call it a dictator. Mm -hmm. It helped. This formation of Republicans. Mm -hmm. Now but, tell me, what's Republicans? Rahim Jan realized that he said, uh, like uh, Real Madrid of uh, Spain, they had the best players around the globe. So he was going to form a modern club to represent the nation. So that uh, whenever the blasters need, we have more or less a standing team. Mm -hmm. But the approach was uh, not the best. So this he, would be another national team yes. outside of the no, it will be a Black club, Stars. But oh, the yes. national team in disguise. In your book, you, you actually made reference to something, the formation of the controversial yes. Republicans. Let me see if I can find that. Um, or the controversial formation of the Republicans. Republicans yeah. yeah. So it was the most controversial decision. Tell me about it. So he picked two of the best players from the leading clubs. Mm -hmm. um, Baba Yara, Dogumoro from Kotoko, Ofer Dudu, uh, Adodamite from Haas, mm -hmm. uh, Dodran Kra, Obite from uh, uh, Olympics, Cornerstones, uh, Uganda, Ben Champon. Okay, so you got the key. So you had, let me just take my time. So mm -hmm. you had um, Cornerstones. You had hearts of folk. That's you had Olympics at the time? Olympics, yes. Okay, in the 60s? The 60s, yeah. Okay. 
we, we have 11 wives. So can be 11 so wives. wives. You then have, we have uh, the, of course, Kotoko. Hazakas, yes. Yes. Uh, Kotoko and Kones Kumasi. Yes. Cape Coast, venomous vipers and dwarves. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they were all there. Cape Coast. Yes. Oh, vipers it, was there? Yes, ven they call venomous vipers. Yeah, but we had one in Sweden. Vancouver. Oh yeah, that was later on. <laughs> but these are the pioneers. But when we were young, there was just a, a team called SS74. Yes, SS72. That later. It was formed by the late uh, General Wajit. That's what. Okay, SS, I see. SS, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, that's later. But the reformation of the Republicans, mm -hmm. that caused a big controversy. And as Antiquo we were uh, the foremost. I mean, they fought against it and he said, no, they were not going to play the league. When well, Jan said, yeah, you're not going to play the league. Okay. So he formed a club, Kumasi, uh, Kumasi United, to go and replace uh, Kotoko. Kotoko. And <laughs> hell broke loose. That's a top political decision. So Kobodu said and others, they had to come in and plead. Then after some time, when Jan said, okay, agree. But for them to challenge my authority, you will play all your home first home matches at Nkoko. <laughs> so Asante Kotoko played the first round matches at Nkoko. Which, at which, which, which park? Which park? Uh, Nkoko. 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 Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, man was, the man was so powerful mm -hmm. for them to uh, challenge his decision. Okay. <laughs> so that there he formed the Republicans. So, the Republicans. so what and, did and, he and use the Republicans for? Yes, he used Republicans to play in the league. They played in the league on non-scoring basis. Oh. But if you beat them, you, you can get the points all right. Okay. It means that they can decide which match to. Yeah. And there was a deciding match involving Hearts and Republicans. And then uh, uh, that match if uh, uh, Republicans had beaten has has means that Kotoko will win the league. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they did they did their own thing. They did their own thing. And has won. Has won. And people are saying that it is the first officially uh, sanctioned fixed match in <laughs> Republic. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me, you keep talking about Kotoko. You know Fabulous. I'm told that this whole Fabulous, yeah, fabulous reference to, to yeah, Kotoko yeah, yeah. Is, is, a, is a making of journalism. Yeah, it's making of journalism. But I just I wanted to finish with this yeah, Repu yeah, yeah, Republicans yeah. thing. Yeah, go on. Republicans, um, so eventually, yeah, has won the match. Mm -hmm. Then, two seasons, the following season, when I decided that, no, this time, they, uh, they will play <coughs> on scoring basis. Mm -hmm. on, on scoring basis. And that since the moderate club, they will use Accra Stadium. In fact, the Republicans were as well. Mm -hmm. So he said, okay, since the model club, they have taken Accra Stadium. Olympics and has to play a determination match to decide who takes the, the other one. On so which team. was the other stadium? No, there was only one stadium. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, if you... Uh, so there are two? There are two. Okay. We have only two. two. So uh, I put up, uh, has beat Olympics. Mm -hmm. The Olympics were moved to Tema. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's but, how come Olympics came to be associated with Tema? Tema, yes. Okay. So they went there and were doing so well. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why they got the tag Wonder Club. Wonder Club, yeah. Avenger wasn't fair to them. Mm -hmm. But just a little bit of the Republican story. So eventually, the Republican team helped because we had almost, it was more or less the national team. Mm -hmm. And two years later, we hosted the uh, Cup of Africa Cup of yeah. the one. But the unfortunate aspect was uh, that uh, Baba Yara, no. Yeah. So because of Baba Yara, that protocol, we're fighting so much against uh, the formation of Republicans. Uh, yeah. So that's unfortunate that uh, Yara died in an accident. Uh, before? Uh, yes, 24th March, 1963, before the Africa Cup. And he was the best player. No, I, I, I have never heard this before. Oh. No, trust me. Man. Yes. So, so Baba Yara, who was originally a Kotoko player, player yes. one of the best. One of the best. It was, it was the best in the country. He had been pushed by Ohinian to be to part of part the He had Dogomoro from Kotoko. Yeah, Dogomoro, yeah. So both of them were in uh, well, Republican. Well, uh, Dogomoro left after two years or so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. And we had qualified for the Cup of Nations. This is we're, we're, yeah, we're going to host it. Host it, okay. And, and he passed yeah, in yeah. an accident. Yeah, uh, yes. He didn't die in the accident. He was paralyzed. In fact, he was flown. Uh, okay. There was a match between Republicans and uh, Pando Mopos at uh, Pando. Yeah. So what, what team again? Pando Mopos. Okay, okay. Uh, more post. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was it. Then they died. Uh, there was a curve. I said, it's a curve. Curve, yeah. So he was coming after the match. After the match, the team, the whole team was involved in the accident. Oh, I and see. Unfortunately, uh, according to eyewitness report, I think Yara was just behind the driver. The driver. So when the gate flank open, people were rushing. So I think they stepped on the spine. Oh, no. And he to cut a long story short, he was flown to the U, uh, to the UK United Kingdom, yeah. United Kingdom uh, for uh, Stoke Stoke Mandeville uh, for spine injury. Okay, he was there. We, we were getting reports that he was doing well, not knowing that he deteriorated into deteriorated, something. But there was no way he was going to get up. Oh no! Yeah. yeah. And, oh, that that was yeah, yeah, very the one saddest story in the world. But one aspect is that. After three months, on his arrival, I said, Baba Yara was coming. So we all went to the airport. We were expecting Baba Yara to be coming to wave him the, the flag. And I'm, I'm saying that that's the first time, the first time uh, people were not killed for the time. People were rushing to meet the BOAC flight to see Baba Yara. Baba Yara came, then he was on a stretcher. Wow. But, but to cut a long story short, to. Uh, well, he, he died later, mm. uh, in May, uh, 69, mm, uh, okay. after, later. after three, yeah. after in the wheelchair, mm. some pastors said they could shoot him, but there was nothing. He could do that. So that was the end of the mm. uh, Republicans. But Republicans, you know, were yeah. dissolved after, after, after the first school. Mm. Uh, wow. So this is uh, Uncle Ken, Ken mm. Bidiaku, telling us the Ghana football story. And I, I am, I, 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 the last time I checked my age, it was more than 50 years. <laughs> and I'm hearing for the first time how Baba Yara died. Oh, yes. Trust me, yeah, I've never, and I follow football, so. Yeah. But uh, I remember the Robert Manson yes, one oh, much oh, late, which happened much later. But was, uh, I'm sure we'll come back to that. That was another sad, 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 sad story in Ghana. I mean, it kept the whole country quiet. Yeah. Yeah. As young as I was, I mean, I could feel it as if Charlie, this is my father. I mean, I woke up and Robert Manson died, and it's so unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so, but we'll come, we'll yeah, come to that one. I, we'll yeah. take a short break. When we come, we'll come to this one. Okay. So this is still Footprint. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Footprint. And I'm here with Mr. Ken Bidiakon, um, a veritable sports writer of many decades. And he has seen it all. He has written everything there is to be written. Um, not a social media one. He, he writes something that we can refer to many, many years after. Um, you were talking about Ohinijan. Yes. Now, Ohinijan kind of put the whole construct for Ghana football together by, by, by what I have heard and what's your yeah. confirmation. Yeah. Now, how, how did he end up? Well, he went out uh, together with the... Osajifu. Osajifu. Mm -hmm. yeah. when, when the coup when, when, when the coup came. That was the end. That was the end of him then. But, so the people, he, he, the, at the press conference, they asked him so many questions they were asking. They said, people don't know the subterranean aspects of <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I heard that way. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a very bombastic... Uh, Thank chapter. you. He <laughs> said, uh, the subterranean aspects of... Thank the, you. He said, since you are saying... Uh -huh. But there's a very interesting story I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. about you know, he was so powerful. So when he had the nucleus of Republicans, of course, then he was trying to push other, other, other players as and when. And there was this interesting story about uh, a player called Modi Boto. He was a Liberian born in Ghana. In Ghana. But uh, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was playing for second year Azakas. But Ovidian felt that he could uh, be an asset. But he was, good. he was made sure that all the the good, good players. players yeah. So there was a match between Republicans and the uh, Azakis. Yeah. And the boy 
prison police wait so much. I think the uh, Hazakas were suspected some violence. So they suspended him. Mm -hmm. Then Ohinjan nullified the suspension in the national interest and transferred him to Republicans. <laughs> then Hazakas raised hell. They said they threatened to quit the league. Ohinjan said, okay, that's okay, you can quit the league. He brought Ghana Independence, it was a, a second division team owned by Ambus Yankee. Uh -huh. And Ambus Yankee was a special assistant to Osajifu. That's all. He brought independence into the league uh -huh. to, to take over from where Hazakas Hazaka had, had left. You mean they didn't, they didn't just start, they just say Hazakas yes. is so maybe number six it, on the yes, thing. So six. come and still eat and put in Benengo. <laughs> Please, is this still your book? Yes. Before. So the headline was. <laughs> Muddy Boto. Muddy Boto toes as I can already. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> now, these four writers all over social media that you, you, there's so much in this book that you, you need yeah, for a reference. I, honestly, I, I, I had wanted to update yeah. it back then. No, this is enough because, because, because me, the... me, myself, I don't know anything. I say. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, uh, so that was the hand. Mm -hmm. and, uh, no, the man, <laughs> the man was powerful. Yeah, yes, was powerful. And, uh, he, but he was anyway. I mean, in his term, we won the cup and defended it. That is 63, right? 63, yeah. W did you cover it? Yes, I as, a, I as, a, as a journalist. As a journalist, yeah. Uh, who, who, who was the makeup of the Black Stars? You remember I, I some of the names? Oh, yes, that was when Agrifin and Jodakwa. Edward Agrifin was the captain, Jodakwa. Edward Amite, Oblite, Krenzel, Bernard Champon, Mafe Dodu. Yeah. We used to hear something from what is so net high. Uh, broke a net. Uh, was that true? Yes, yeah, true. Oh, that he played yeah. a short a net. Short, the net. Uh, just tore apart. Tore, yeah, the corner. The corner uh, there. Nineteen sixty eight or so. What's and then from what is so net high. Then uh, his uh, colleagues were blaming me, so the net wasn't strong enough. <laughs> but Wow. Well, those days, the nets were tight. You know, this time it's so loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can yeah. suck the ball it's in. Can suck the ball in. Wow. So, so uh, Ghana hosted. Hosted and won. And won. Yeah. You remember some of the participation nations then? Oh, yes. Well, okay, we beat uh, Sudan, 3-0. Eh? Uh-huh. In, in, uh, in, in the final. Was Nigeria it? was there. Nigeria, Nigeria was there. Oh, it's, uh, but Nigeria, we beat but them eight, easily. Yeah, but it was eight teams. I can't oh, there were eight teams in, in all mm -hmm. for no. the Cup of Nations? Yeah, for, yeah, at the time. Okay, okay. Time. So how was um, the Black Stars in the 70s? What was the journey like? See, the 70s, in fact, we had good players. We had good players, so it was easy. You could just name them. And, and the, the year when Kotoko won the Africa Cup, mm -hmm. you know, I think the following year, they went to the Olympic Games, and they had about eight of their players in the team. Mm -hmm. you know, we had very yeah. good players at the time, so yeah. it wasn't difficult to yeah. select yeah. the national yeah. team. Yeah. And then and they were playing, they were playing constantly. Okay. Like those years when Obite Krenzel, Obite Krenzel for about five years, Obite Krenzel, Obite yeah. Krenzel, when he was naming the team, he said uh, the issue was stop on defense. Uh -huh. <laughs> the team was named, it was said, uh, World of Club News, so. uh -huh. the Black Stars for a, for a match. For oh, tomorrow, you mean tomorrow's match? Yes. World they would name the They would name, name, yes. That this is the team for the Black Stars for tomorrow's match. Uh -huh. They would make it a meal out of the whole. That's all. And he believed in ceremonies. You know. Yeah. He really yeah. wanted to make a captain. That's bringing back. He wanted to make uh, Mfum a captain. He took him to Nsam. He said Nsam is the birthplace of, uh, of uh, Black Stars. Uh, Black Stars. Yeah. You should go there uh, to get inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> so then, at which point did we have um, the likes of um, Mohamed Polo, oh, yes. Razak, and the rest coming in? Yeah. Polo came. Just when the 
uh, Griffiths and others will fail him. You know. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was an exceptional player. In fact, I had the, uh, it was my personal project. Project. Did I like him so much? Yeah. That, uh, what about Polo? Polo, I'm talking about Polo. You have said what about him? Oh yes, yes. The man who do whatever he likes with the ball. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was in the sports editor graphics, so I formed the Polo fan club. Wow. So you did? I, I was so fond of him that uh, whenever, but I gave him the name Dribbling Magician. Oh, I see. You yes, did. Yeah. And then of later course. On, Once Agri, you wrote it, the you know, Dribbling Magician. Agrees also from the Dribbling Professor, and then Imran Makun said. Square of important goals. We were we short of uh, <laughs> a description. description for him. <laughs> wow. But, no, he was an exceptional player. So, Polo and then Abdul Razak. Razak, so that's the golden boy. Yeah. You know, as, as, uh, uh -huh. So, Polo he was, was formerly Hearts of Folk. He started with Hearts of Folk. But Polo. Polo. But yes, he played for Hearts of Folk. Only Hearts of Folk. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I think he was spotted by uh, some scout that he was playing for Nima Seekers. I think uh, none. One of those. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. But then, but how he, about Razak? Razak, Razak too was playing. He for, didn't start with Kotoko. No, no, no. He, he started with uh, uh, Great Ashanti. Oh, Great Ashanti. Yeah. Uh, no, he, he never played for Cornerstones. No, no, no. Cornerstones. Uh -huh. Cornerstone. 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 Great Ashanti mm -hmm. was then there. Yeah. 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 Cornerstone was more or less uh, feeding ground for for Kotoko. <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah, so Razak. So you Razak. had um, Razak. You had um, um, Polo. Mm -hmm. We had, um, we had Mama Kwa. Mama Kwa. Okay. We had Opokunti. No, okay, Opokunti. Opokunti came later. No, Opokunti was called uh, Takwapolo. Aha. Uh, Takwapolo. Uh -huh. He, but, but he we was had, in the. Uh, we we is, had uh, George Alhassan. George Alhassan, yes, the Gamanje. They call me Gamanje. No, yeah. they have a way of giving you know, the, the, uh, you know what I remember about George Alhassan? He had he 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 his hair. <laughs> Uh, he was always having, always having problems with the goalkeepers. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. There was another judge, last time he came this one, but the original, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the government chair, he was a photographer, professional photographer, oh. Minister of Information. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, and then the police time, then we had uh, Amusa Bademosi, Pele. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, has, has in the same days, they had the Fierson Fison, mm -hmm. Peter Lamte, Anas Seidu. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert, Robert Hanbon, Mama Kwan, and Polo. Wow. We we'll called them Fiasan Fison. Wow. They were so dominant. You know, after Kotoko had won the Africa Cup, mm -hmm. also two Cup. And then in 77 and 79, they went oh. to the final, but they that's too win. bad. Yeah. yeah, but it was. It was um, now, there, there's a story that will be coming to. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure that being the kind of profession, you'll be able to. Uh, wrap it up properly. Mm -hmm. It's something that they refer to as the miracle of Elwak. Oh, yes. The miracle of Elwak. Miracle of Elwak. Yes. Uh -huh. So that was uh, one of the Champions League matches. Yeah, it was um, 77. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Anken, just hold. We'll just take a short break. When we come back, we are going to the miracle of Elwak. Okay. And then we'll also go through some of his books and he'll tell us what he has in these books that. Uh, you know, some of them are actually out of print, but if you contact him, he will show you. He will show, oh, they're actually out of print. <laughs> that if this one is but out of print, then that's a national disaster. I'm telling you. <laughs> if it's out of print, I'll make it a personal project. I'm telling you. Uh, anyway, so this is still Footprint with Mr. Ken Bidiakon. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is still Footprint. And I have um, Uncle Ken, Mr. Ken Bidiakon. Charlie, we can do several episodes with Sanko mm. Ken, but you know, this is just a, a short TV program. So, I, st I ended my last segment by talking about what was later referred to as a miracle of Elwak. Okay. And it was a miraculous feat, mm. and that's why I guess it was referred to as, uh, yeah. as such. So, it was, uh, uh, I remember, I was a kid, so, uh, you know, I mm. remember I had some folk versus a Zambian team that I still have never been able to pronounce yeah. the name. <laughs> so it was Hearts of Folk versus their counterparts from Zambia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what, tell me the story about yeah. this. So the team was called uh, Mufurura Wanderers. Mufurura Wanderers. Wanderers. From wow. Zambia. From Zambia. They had won the first match 5-2. Where? 
in, well, in, 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 in Zambia. Zambia. Mm -hmm. Five two. And so has needed to win by at least by a margin of three goals. Mm -hmm. To, uh, yeah, with, with no with, yeah, with, with, without reply yeah. to make it. Mm -hmm. and you know, the match report from there, we then graphic, we had a, a, a reporter there. Yeah. We had an exchange with Tanzania, and then so he went there. So the report, he wasn't the sports writer at that time, but so he was writing, and the way he, he brought the report, he said, has were overfed. <laughs> and, and that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, the breakfast, they were taking tea, butter, so, 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 so. but I knew he was exaggerating, but that's for the fun of it. Yeah. So I made the headline, overfed has Yes. But we, myself and uh, my assistant, Imana Mwako, we said we were going to motivate us to win the match. So we started a campaign showing pictures of uh, why we think why we think Hass are going to win the match? Which year was this again? 77. 1977. Yeah. So this will be the, the closing terms yeah, of yeah. Uh, Kutua Champo. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and why was it played at Elba? Yeah, it was played at Elba because Ghana were preparing to host the Africa Cup of okay. 1978. All right. So the stadium was occupied, mm -hmm. in fact, under renovation. Mm -hmm. So all the matches were being played at Elwak. Yeah. That's why we had there. So Haas came, gave them all the much and they went half time. Zero, zero. Was, so zero, zero. It was tough. But uh, that's where the Polo magic came in. But remember some of the players? Oh, yes. Uh, if oh. you can take us through some Peter, of the... Peter Lamte. Peter Lamte. Anas. Anas Seydou. Anas Seydou. Mm -hmm. Robert Hammond. Robert Hammond. Polo. Mama Mama Akwa. Mama Akwa. That's I think Mike... Mike... Yeah, the Mike... Uh, the Mike... Yeah. Is it Teach Mike? No, no. Uh, yes, Mike. Uh, no, 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 not Teach Mike. Mm -hmm. It's not the Mike. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and... and oh, oh, of course, Okay, I mean Ofer. that's fair. Yeah. Mm. And the Zambians yeah. were there. The Zambians were there. And then there was a, this the, the commentator. What is his name? It was because it was an open place. Nobody was running the commentary, and the way he was running the commentary, most of us were even focusing on him. <laughs> then about five minutes to time, you know, has were had scored two two, two. goals. Mm -hmm. So the commentator was saying, say, five minutes to time. We see what Accra has to can do with it. This one. Uh-huh. And Polo got the ball. <laughs> Mesmerized. <laughs> uh -huh. Gave oh. the pass to Anas. That was then. He said, God, we have been beaten. And that was then. I think the, the, commentary, the commentary was cut. What? The commentator was in Ghanaian? No, 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 no. We want to commentary to Zambia. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> but, you know, because uh, the, the air quarks didn't open, have yeah. any openness. Yeah. So, and the way he was... There's antics and as well. Everybody uh -huh. was watching. Uh -huh. So was watching. That's what was doing. Five minutes. And this time. this one happened in the ninetieth minute. I'm told. Yes, that's what I'm asking. And has just that's good. And that was it. We're so excited. So then I told Joe, you agree? I said, Joe, you have to write the color aspects mm -hmm. of the match. <laughs> so I'll write the full report because Polo has masterminded the whole thing. So we went to the office. For about 15 minutes, I couldn't write the intro. <laughs> I read my tweet. Then, my senior I watched it. He said, look, it's because of Polo. So you can't write the story. You want to. So I was thinking I had something. I had read something somewhere in the 66, when the Tottenham Hotspurs, you know, uh, they made up the English team. And then we said, England is space. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make something like, Polo is harsh. So that to build the intro yeah, from there. Yeah. Okay, I'll change it. Then I'll, eventually, I managed to write. <laughs> story. Do you have any of your of your clips? Some of these uh, publications. Publications? Uh, no, 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 I not. Don't. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't. I now, so this will be seventy-seven, <laughs> and then eighty-two. Yeah. We won again. Is that correct? Cup of Nations. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and that was... That's uh, Libya. Libya. And mm -hmm. that was my... And you covered that? Last, yes. 
It's very, very interesting. Uh, Tell me you know, about that, that was, story. That was the, uh, the early days of the, of the, of the, of the revolution. Of the, that's the revolution, yeah. And in fact, I don't know, Ghana, we're not going to take part, even though we had qualified. We were not going to take part because the Liman administration at that time said the Libya, no, that man is a terrorist, that kind of thing. So we were not too sure oh. whether we'd be going, even though we had qualified. Okay. So it's when uh, Rawlings took over. Came, yeah. then he gave it the uh, Because it was yes. the man, that terrorist yes. was Rawlings' man. Yes, that's man. So he said we should go. And then we had the press call. Yeah. Uh, I said, uh, Benny Gunn, uh, Harry Thompson, uh, Eric Bakunyaba, and then GNA, GNA, Nikwe, and then Henry Bachaus, and then myself. Oh, Henry Bachaus. Yeah. Myself from Graphic. We, went, we were going to go in a uh, Libyan aircraft, mm -hmm. a cargo plane. And that was the first time I had gone to a huge edifice, very dark. But at the back, we had 12 seats. Uh -huh. So we went. We went there without air tickets, no money, nothing. We said we should go. In fact, when Henry Charles wanted us to, because we were there at the airport, nobody was telling us anything at the airport station. So we said, let's go, because this thing, Libya, Libya, it could be an adventure. So let's go. So eventually we went. Back in the night, we were there. So we you, had, you, you sat in the cargo plane? Cargo plane, yes, for the first time. Cargo plane. Eesh. Yeah, but. It had cargo inside? No, it was empty. Empty plane. Empty. How about it will shake? <laughs> empty I don't plane. like certain so, so. <laughs> No, no, but it was empty because Man, we don't way. know what they brought. That the suspicion was that they brought something. <laughs> so it was empty. And then, oh, okay, okay. Mm, so, well, obviously. obviously. Obvi and now I get the context. Yes. Yeah. Well, so, they were bringing things. They, 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 they were bringing things. things. So they said yeah. you should go. That's all. We travel with that money. No activities. Okay, so we went. It was an adventurous chap. I wanted to went there. We had enjoyed ourselves. In fact, we had a very nice place, hotel, but no money. Mm -hmm. So. Now, how did you come back? Mm -hmm. Same cargo plane? Yes. So, eventually, when we won, we won the match, then they said the presidential jet was going to pick the players. So, they brought the presidential jet, but it, it wouldn't take all of us. So, yeah. they got uh, Aerofloat for us. Mm -hmm. Aerofloat took it. Yeah, that's the Russian, Russian, at the time, Russian and, and National and Airline, Aerofloat. Ba yeah. Bamako, and then. Africa. Wow. Yeah. That one is another one. Another one. <laughs> but uh, very interesting. I mean, the story Harry Thompson was very, very funny. You know, you know after the, the first round, we went to Benghazi. Yeah. For, but from we, Tripoli. From Tripoli to Benghazi. Mm -hmm. So you know, we, we, we didn't have anything to go by. So, but they had taken our passports there. You know, so normally mm -hmm. the hotel. So the hotel man didn't know. So after. At, uh, the following day, mm -hmm. we were getting ready to go. Then I think there was, he was questioning uh, Dr. Santa about payment to pay. But then Harold Thompson was standing there. He asked the man, said, well, what is he saying? Look, as for us, we don't pay. We, fo we, we are from Ghana. Who oh, 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 play? <laughs> came, came to pick us. Came, came to pick us. <laughs> we don't pay. Give us our passports. And then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Hey, that, so was, that, was that was an experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. very nice experience. So we... When then we won the cup and then and um, the the finals was between Ghana between Ghana and Libya and Libya as usual as usual and that was when uh, we had uh, Usmeza he the, the, the master goalkeeper yeah he well, was the third goalkeeper third goalkeeper when when we went surprisingly John Baker and Carr you know, the report we had from the coaches they had suddenly lost form. So, so at the time, this is 80, between 80 and 80, we had goalkeeper Carl, who was Carl, on top. Yes, yes, Carl, yeah, for the yeah. and then John Baker. Uh, he was also from, from, uh, uh, Azakis, uh, 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 Central or Western yeah. region, yeah. Western, uh, Dwarfs, and then Azakis. So, goalkeeper Carl from Dwarfs <laughs> and Azakis. And then, and then Baker, Baker, Baker to Baker Wise. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's the, only the best. Oh, the story best. is too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> So you had the fancy people yeah, there, the country, uh, uh, yeah. John Baker, John Baker. Uh, Gold Parker, Car. Um, and then uh, uh, Mensah, he was from Connors, he was the number uh, third. third what was his name? Uh, ben Ousu Mensah. Ousu Mensah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he was like the... No, he was just, because the Gold Parker is the Masaf uh, yeah. Reserve. Yeah. 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 So he was there as a reserve. But so now they go, they got there and realized that they the first he, two, he became, some way. He became the cornerstone of the team. 
wow. from Cornell Stevens. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we won the cup and came back. And well, did he do anything in yes. particular? Yes. Uh -huh. He saved two penalties. In fact, it was a shootout. Penalty shootout against uh, Wow. Libya. Wow. So Ghana, Libya, 0-0, yes. zero, zero, yeah. end of game, and then penalties. Penalties. And then the man just catch it. Like that. Wow. <laughs> I think it was 1-1. One, one, one. One one okay okay well good so now that would be eighty two eighty two yeah so this will define your official exit from yes um why did you leave oh you were still young yeah so you yeah you know those were the blood and thunder days as you refer to blood and thunder days so but you were just you were a sports writer so surprisingly um. They decided that many of the senior officers should be transferred for no reason. In fact, then the transfer was 24 hours. But you're not speaking the revolution language. <laughs> yes. You're not writing so, Eastern, Eastern, Eastern philosophies. Eastern, so, you know, so I decided that uh, I wouldn't go. But what happened was that I was going to be transferred to Sunyani as a regional something but then we had regional managers there so they realized that my salary was higher mm -hmm. than the so-called mm -hmm. so they withdrew the letter and then gave me another one they just wanted me to go by all means <laughs> so i said these people are not sincere those were the PD, pdc days so I, said, oh, man. I don't know so anything so about this distribution so pdc and all these so People my, can't my friend, us, my friend, uh, they'll be sharing Gary and Gary, those things. So, <laughs> so I said no. So I left. In fact, I gave a short notice and I lost three months' salary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I realized that we're not sincere. I mean, we want me to leave. Yeah. Friend, so I so said, when you left Daily Graphic as yeah. a sports, you left as a sports editor, right? Sports editor, yes. Um, but you, you still. I've been very vocal in this post journalism thing. Yes. Uh, post eighty two. Uh, post eighty two. Uh, from there, where did you where did you go? In fact, uh, incidentally, Yao Berwa had then been a uh, big chairman of Kotoko. So I, I sold an idea to him that he could have a club paper. Mm -hmm. uh, he bought the idea. So I had this uh, Kotoko Weekly mm -hmm. for him. And we were doing, uh, he did well. Luckily, uh, the following year, Kotoko won the cup. No, he won the cup in this. Uh, yeah. So that's I was doing this for Kotoko. Okay, the, so you did it for the, how long? Yeah, for two years after the term of uh, Yabawa. Mm -hmm. Then I became a freelance writer. Uh, uh, but, but so from that period yeah. up until now, what? Yeah. What, how do you describe the changing faces of Ghana football? See, we were doing well up to 1992 when we won the junior yeah, championship. World in fact, uh, Sarah Mensa, he was then the, the minister sports. of sports. He was so excited that he, was, he said he was going to turn that team into Republicans. <laughs> I was saying, oh, fine. So, Mati. Some people don't know the present citizens. Anyway. But since then, you no. Know, uh, and I, okay, incidentally, I was made the uh, member of the Bastards Management Committee. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Bastards and Metro. So, I took the team to Barcelona in 1992. Oh, okay. Uh, incidentally, we won. We won, we won the bronze, football mm -hmm. bronze. But. The changing phase is that I think there are too many people having vested interest mm -hmm. in. Uh, Do you think switching to professionalism or what we call professionalism? Oh, that that professionalism is just a name. It's just a name. Oh, it's just a name. No, there's no professionalism. But people even do proper accounting. That's why when they ask for sponsorship, no decent company without this hard money, without knowing how the clubs run. Yeah. Now, out of 18 clubs or so, I think you have uh, 16 or 17 private-owned clubs. They are what? Private-owned clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you going to bring a back? When those days, you had things like 
11 wise then, as I guess, are playing. Even B, not yet. Brown, but 11 Mr. wise, um, yes, wasn't sure wise. My memory serves me correctly. At some mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. um, Blemieza took over. Oh, yes. Blemieza. When he introduced the song, yeah, Akaraka Ak Ak Chi. Yeah. Akaraka Chu. As for Blemieza, he was a character. <laughs> he went to the stadium with money in the bank. With the money in the oh, bank? Yeah, money, yeah. Uh -huh. So, when we finish, we take it. <laughs> he doesn't want to you can't share, share no, but he made 11 oh, yeah, so yeah, attractive. Yes, he did. He so, took the whole so team to Brazil. Yeah. The one who came. The, oh, I, that my, he's, he's, uh, he's a wonderful character. <laughs> no, because he has a uh, dead personal with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? What, uh, he promised to give a swap some money. So, so yes, yeah, so, sports writers. Uh, to fence uh, So, me, Joe Agri, and then Eric Sebu. We went to his office. They were going to give us 100,000. So he gave me a check to write. So pay swag. And then he stamped it and gave it to us. One step that I felt it wasn't long enough. The, I paid 100,000. So I looked at it and had written 100, uh, 100 series instead of 100,000. So we went back to him. Then he was laughing. Then he gave me another check. Uh -huh. <laughs> then I wrote 100,000 this time. Yeah. No mistake. Uh -huh. But the man has money. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was serving on the Olympic Committee. Mm -hmm. He gave us a check of $80,000. At the time? At the time. It went to Los Angeles. We opened an account in London. So Wh I which year is this? Uh, this will be before the revolution. Oh, oh yes. Because the revolution will not entertain this kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, so, well, it's been, it's been a journey. Mm -hmm. So, at times when you, you see maybe Ghana in the tournament mm -hmm. and you watch, yeah. what, what, what thoughts, you know, run through your mind? We are going round round in circles. Because if, now luckily we have this uh, under 17 and under 20. You know, this was an idea by Abel uh, Havland. You know, this youth yeah, 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 yeah. Because he realized that we, in the third world, we are, we are the disadvantage. I mean, you have to be in the blaster before we are exposed to the international uh, audience. So if you start at the age of 17, you play a World Cup. Okay, but at least it gives you exposure. Yeah, but now yeah. we have started, started um, cheating. Oh, we're like, cheating? Uh, that's not happening, yes. If the man is 70, 23, we said he's 17. Ah, we we're cheating? Yes. They were putting over eight over players eight inside. Players. That's, what that's why doing. their face has grown yes. like that. You see somebody say he's 16. Yes. Meanwhile, he's having outdoor in the next yes. week. <laughs> and and uh, somebody who will be uh, younger than uh, younger brother. I mean, this is. <laughs> Okay, again, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlie, I can you blow your cover, Charlie. Growies, you go and then they have something called football age, Charlie. Football age. The man, all oh, his classmates have finished university. <laughs> the man says he's 14 years. Meanwhile, after the tournament, yes. two years after the That's tournament, yeah. his son is graduating yeah. from school. <laughs> by some calculation, one of the players was by 11 years at the time he played for it. Say again. So it was 11 years. Aye! Uh, because. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, people, so this has been okay. Footprint with uh, Mr. Ken Bidiakon. Um, he's a true and true football sports journalist um, with particular interest in football. Mm -hmm. And he has this book, The Complete History of Ghana Football League, um, 1958 to 2012. I think it's a book that every sports lover of in Ghana should have. Is it still in print? No. But no. you don't have some I available? Have, but few copies with uh, Fifi Banson. Has few copies in his... Uh, oh, with Fifi Banson. But it has to... You have to yeah, read because this. Uh, after I was going to uh, uh, update it uh -huh. in, wow. in 2018, when the Ghana League we were 50 years, mm -hmm. but we know that's why we had this yeah, 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 team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Anyway, uh, okay. thank you so much uh, okay. for your time. I'll give you a call.
copy. Good. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. I will get to own a copy. You think that this job is easy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. My name is Samuel Atavesa. This has been Footprints. Okay.